Hello all family, this is your boy Drew. It is the 7th of October 2023. Good evening. I know you're like, why is it so bright, Drew? Because I'm sitting in the dark. I'm in actually in front of my monitor. I'm in my spare bedroom, which I have all my equipment. I don't want to show you because it is I've got stuff all over the place and I've been just chilling but nonetheless it has been a while since you've seen heard and I know possibly some of you may be like where is Gerald. So, I would be remiss not to say hello. Man, I'm looking at my beard. I look all old. Nah, that's because of the light. But nonetheless, give me a second. I'm going to go down to my favorite place, my garage. And I got something to share. Give me a second. And we're back. So first, before I go into it, because you know how I do, I'm all about energy. So I got to have some music in the background because I tend to vibe to whatever's being played. And all it does is enhance what is inside me, given by spirit, because nothing's wrote down. So I can convey what I need to convey at the intended time moment and it's now it's the time so I would be remiss not to say this this video is protected by the fair use act it is intended for entertainment purposes only any music in the background is royalty free and is protected by the fair use act 107 okay so that's that so let me put some music on what you're going to hear in the background is by this producer fossil production if you are on youtube go to youtube music and put uh fossil it's spelled f-a-s-o-l productions or prod p-r-o-d and it'll come up this person is phenomenal um i'm surprised that you know, well, it is no surprise. They're all they're on all streaming uh, platforms. So you know, if you want to purchase or download their music, I know it's there because I've seen it there. But I'm using you. I'm pulling this up through YouTube Music, and there it is. And it is royalty free. All right. So let me just put something on. Just pick something by Fossil Productions. And here we go. There we go. Great. So how you been, family? I know some of y'all are like, you been going through some stuff, Gerald? Because for the last collective 19 months you've been doing this Houdini thing it goes in spurts and then you disappear again first and foremost I am well mind body and spirit I am well so no need to worry however I also have a life outside this video and there is work that has to be done. Just as I always empower and try to advise to the intended heart, intended mind at the intended time, when you see this video, always follow your dreams. The responsibility is making it a reality. So what you put in it is what you get out of it. So keep chasing it. And guess what, as they say, 
If it is a passion, you would do it for free. So let that be the best example of you. Who am I talking to? So that doesn't negate the fact that you haven't heard. You probably wonder what's been up. I know the last time that I actually put a video out was unfortunately before the wildfire, the, the fires that took place over in Maui and Lahaina. Um, and I appreciate those who reached out on my well on my behalf. Um, and I get it because it's not stressed in regular schools in the mainland. The state of Hawaii has what we call an island chain. So there are numerous islands that have poplars. And I'm on Oahu. So that is the most populated out of the eight islands that, technically nine, uh, that make up the state of Hawaii. But I'm fine, I'm well. It's still hot. It's still crazy expensive. And it's just part of my walk. It's part of my journey and that's why I'm here. And I'm gonna be here until I complete all that I need to complete. And I'm, I'm just fine. So, in my hiatus, and I know I try to make a habit at least once a year, a period of annually, I will deliberately make a point to proverbially be still. And what I mean by that is sometimes it is best that if you have a spiritual understanding a spiritual foundation. Sometimes it is, let me put it, it is your responsibility to remain grounded and allow yourself time with the most, with the most high. Some of you may call him God. Some of you by other religious dogmas may acknowledge as such. But because we are spiritual beings first and physical beings second it is your responsibility to always remain grounded because it's all about you may hear a lot of the slangs of charging your batteries remaining grounded finding your focus right it's all the same allegory it's all the same thing the difference is making sure what your focus is pure. So of course, sometimes you'll have things that will be placed before you so that you have to focus, but reflect at the same time. So that's what I was doing. More or less doing some spiritual spring cleaning. Who am I talking to? Now, the one thing that I've always tried to make a point is to never put anything out from my channel that is of judgment. Because I'm a firm believer, which you, for those who have been with me from the beginning, first and foremost, thank you. Thank you for those who have shown support. Thank you for just allowing time to just acknowledge I exist by looking at my content. And as I always say, if you're feeling what I'm saying, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down. But if you choose to give me a thumbs down, at least give me the common, sir, or the common courtesy, drop me a line so that we can have a meeting of the mind so maybe I can learn something different because it is about humanity and what is the best way to feed humanity? Each one teach one. Who 
am I talking to? So, I took a period of time to refrain from putting out content like I would like to. Now, some of y'all have noticed there are videos out there that you've never seen that I just opted to put them out. But I'm always producing content. I'm always doing it because I'm tapped in. I'm so touched. I'm so tapped in with my spirituality that there's always inspiration. I'm always looking to learn as well as communicate because that's the main point of being on this planet. The number one reason is servitude. And before somebody says servitude, I'm meaning in regards to the creator. Because you got to remember, without the most high, there will not be no you. So we're obligated to that. So, you know, this is what solidifies my spiritual walk and it keeps me in due bound. And keeps me um, keeps me grounded. But you know what's amazing? I had I'm picking my words. I'll just say this. You know, the Most High is the ultimate comedian too, right? Because he will show you what you need to know, not what you want to know when you need to see it when you, when he needs you to embrace it that's why you we were here all the time he might not be there when you want but he's always there on time because he's a he he's the alpha omega he is the great i am what do you expect and i don't mean that from a condescending place sometimes you got <clears throat> sometimes you got to you got to you gotta laugh because sometimes you'll find that your most profound moments were were in the midst of your presence at the same time at the exact time and you didn't unbeknownst to you. Who am I talking to? And it might have been something that you just totally overlooked or took for granted. And little did you know that had a marquee impact on something that was meant for you to be aware of. Who am I talking to? That's why when you hear folks say, oh, it just so happened. It was fate. There's no such thing as fate. Mm -mm. Things don't just so happen. Everything is divinely meant as it is. You do understand that, right? And for some of y'all, if that's not where you're at, trust and believe when I tell you this. When you're ready to really tap into yourself, be prepared to be amazed. But to do that, you're going to have to do some clearing. And what do you mean? You're just like, what do you mean about clearing, Gerald? Well, for starters, you're going to have to allow yourself to take accountability for your life, to take control of your life. And I know there's somebody right now saying, well, Gerald, you don't understand. I got I got all this going on on my plate. I don't have time for me. And I'm here to tell you this. What is the odds of that same environment existing without you? Say it in reverse. Maybe it makes sense. So there's always time for you. You have to claim it. You have to navigate it. But first and foremost, and I speak this 
from example, you have to acknowledge what does not work. Who am I talking to? Because I'm going to tell you, the longer you choose to turn a blind eye, ignore, deny, distract, all that does is rob you of time. And I had to learn that in my life. You know, not to, not to sound crass, think of it this way. For those who were raised as Gen X, or shall I say, I'll do one better. For those who are over the age of 35, Think back when you were little and there was something that you were required to do and you got in trouble. And depending on your upbringing, it would measure, <clears throat> it would measure, it would be, the re repercussion would be doled out based on what it was, right? And for some of us that were reared in the environment of Getting your, getting your butt whooped, being put on punishment, and whatever uh, imagination that your parents choose to get their point across, you realize that whatever that was, it was to, to spark reflection so you didn't do that further. You understand what I'm trying to say? So let's fast forward and say this, you're grown. And look at the decisions you have made. What about the choices you are contemplating? And the thoughts and the energy invested on trying to decide, should I go left? Should I go right? Should I go forward? Or should I just ignore it and it'll go away? It is nothing but the same repetitive behavior and mindset that you had trying to critically think as a child. And you notice that the sooner that you acknowledge whatever needs to be addressed, you can either press through it or stand still. Why am I saying this? It is 2023, family. Start blinking. And we're going to be in the holiday season. Blink two more times. And it'll be 2024. Like that. And unfortunately, there are some of you right now. That are still. Tied up. To. Potential choices. That you were contemplating in 2022 what's wrong with that like your mind is on that em emotional treadmill like a hamster wheel and all it's doing is frustrating you but you know what else it's doing silently it is robbing you of your essence It is nothing but compounding your fears. And you are at war with your reality. That's why, here's a good, here's a good example. How many times you've gone to work and 
someone you work with comes in and you can feel the energy as soon as they walk in the room. And depending on what kind of energy, if it's negative, it will cause a vacuum because you see it in their mannerism, they're tight, you hear it in their tone, and it depletes the positive energy out like a slow, unfortunately, like an emotional cancer, which can end up wrecking your whole day if you allow it. You know, family, you have a choice. You know you have a choice, right? So what, are, what am I alluding to? Why am I saying this? What I'm trying to do is point this out because some of you have been holding yourself hostage for over a significant time of your life instead of you actually making your dreams reality you are allowing the things that do not produce or foster the best you to be embraced and that can be produced through the environment that you're in along with the company that you keep so you've got to make a choice do you turn a blind eye do you take a position of saying it is what it is? But haven't you noticed when people say it is what it is, they're the most miserable people that you come in contact with? I mean, and I don't say that to sound disrespectful, but when a person turns around and talks in absolutes, usually those are the those are the same people they have not done the work. Because it's not definitive. It can't be measured. Not from a critical standpoint. It can't. But. We are human beings. And even in 2023. People are ignoring the fact that we are what we attract. I've been saying this since 2012. And what is so marquee about it is you can tell from people that actually hold that to heart compared to those who don't. Because the ones who don't, they, they age before their times. How many times you've looked at, you know, somebody in their 20s, but they look like they in their, they lay in their late 40s. Because I was, I was going to say use 50s, but that's not true. Because I'm in my 50s and I don't look 50. So don't get a foot. Don't, I know somebody, yeah, you do. No, I don't. I don't feel it. I definitely don't. But, just to turn the corner, I realized in my hiatus, my hiatus, sorry, that ever, ever so much, there's an agenda to desensitize society on all levels. And it's, and I thought about it. I was like, well, you know, how is it that as a society, is that possible that you could have a multitude to embrace a, a, such an ideology? And I thought about it. Well, statistically, one in three people do not have a spiritual foundation. So, you know, because faith is believing in, in the unseen. 
And unfortunately, because we live in such a secular world and speculative world, the tangent is, if I don't feel it, it's not real. If you cannot show through your hypothesis, through fact, it must be only theory. Okay. Okay. Well, when I hear people have that mindset, I always hit them back with the, with the fact of, well, if you feel that way, how do you justify the air that's in your lungs? How do you justify the constant beating of your heart? How about the stimulus in your brain? How do you, you can't see those things. What about the flow that pumps that sacred bloodline? You can't see it unless you cut it. So you got to have some level of faith. You got to. Otherwise, nobody would go to sleep. They'd be too paranoid. So where am I going with this? Well, Number one, I am so grateful to be alive. And if you truly knew my story, you would be like, yeah, yeah, because you're looking at a miracle. Because if I was able to sit down and show you my life, my life story, you'd be like, how? I'm here to tell you, God, the most high, the creator the Alpha, the Omega, the great I Am has always been in my life. And I'm here to tell you, if you're struggling, you're carrying a, a burden, you have an insecurity or an unspoken fear, I'm here to tell you, Give it to the Most High. You don't need to send an RSVP to have a conversation with Him. You don't. Because as it was written, and I'm paraphrasing it, He knew us in spirit in spiritual form before flesh. He had a relationship then. And thank goodness I had someone mention that today. And it, and it, I'm like, I'm glad you said that because how we forget. Now, I don't because I, I stay prayed up. I start, day, I start my day and end my day the same way, in prayer. I give thanks just being alive, the smallest things to breathe, to cognitively understand and the motivation to always better myself no matter what. And that right there keeps me grounded because I know that my efforts are also because I'm fulfilling what my ancestors wanted because I believe that my ancestors someone prayed over my life even though they knew that they would never meet me and no different I do the same after my lifeline is concluded I always pray for that and you should do that too so if you got somebody if you feel that you have generational curses or someone spoke heinously over your over your family name your your bloodline your lineage your children your prosperity have that conversation with the most high just speak from your heart and the best way you speak from your heart 
You don't have to say anything. Your brain already knows what needs to be said because it's in your heart. I don't care if you believe that you have ice in your veins and you believe you have the right to walk on this planet with a hateful spirit. First and foremost, I feel sorry for you if that is the case because you're living your life short. And usually folks that do have that mindset, unfortunately, their lifeline are shortened anyway. That's why you would always hear me say in my videos in the past, and I live by this, energy out is energy returned. And I had a moment early this week, I was thinking about that, because if you go back in any of my videos, uh, from the beginning on, I, you know, I would always conclude it that way. And I didn't realize that what I was really describing, what people like to gravitate was karma. But truly, there's no such thing as karma. There isn't. And you, I know someone's like, why you say that, Gerald? Because being that you're a spirit, that's energy. And one thing about energy, energy never dissipates. It takes on another form. But trust and believe, it always comes back. I'll do another one. Think of you're in a hallway. Okay. Or think about when you were in an empty room and you spoke and you heard your you heard your echo. I'm I'm just saying that from a literal standpoint. Even though there was nothing in there, you heard your voice. And guess what? You heard it because it refracted back. That's energy. So your action will always have a reaction. You just don't know how. But usually, it is always the same. Think about it. Think about it. If you did something that was unflattering, you wasn't celebrated for that. You were met with that and usually more of the same. But the greatest lie, other than the devil doesn't exist, is opposites attract. That's not true. Because if that was the case, the proverbial saying of happy ever after would be a reality. And it's not. Who am I talking to? So, I'm picking my words because, like I said, I'm, I'm sitting back in a cut, living my life, taking care of my daily requirements. And, you know, for leisure, I'll cut YouTube on. And I'll just, i always keep my ear on the grind. Just, just to take a look at what the community or the populace is talking about. May it be politically, may it be scientific, may it be spiritual, or whatever the entertainment of choice but when i'm on youtube 2023 there is a numerous amount of podcasts and uh, channels out there and I, I commend that because i too We'll eventually have my stuff out there too. 
However, what I saw was, you know, just like the pendulum of a clock. It's no different than watching the news. And what I'm going at is, if somebody says something, everybody says something. And I, and I realized, I said, well, you know what? That's why society is so fragmented. Because someone will have their, because everybody's entitled to their opinion, but no one questions the fact behind it. It's always emotionally driven. It's never from a place of logic. Especially when it comes to the betterment community. You know? And I remember because I, I I came to YouTube in 2012. That's when I started. Yeah, I know. Surprisingly, right? And you know, my content is, has always been the same. For you to be the best you by me being the best me and, li and living by example by placing God first in everything I do. And I knew even back then that it would not hit, it wouldn't get any algorithm because they wasn't checking for that. There was nothing that was salacious. So you weren't going to get no shock and awe. But the one thing that you would get was it was always authentic with the motivation of you being the best you. And the irony was I watched, <clears throat> I wasn't even going to say this, but I am. I've watched people take my content. I've even watched people blatantly plagiarize my stuff to the point where they've made millions of dollars. I'm not stretching the imagination. And what's funny about it is just out of respect because that's who I am. I did, you know, I went back into my, I went, because I have a lot of content, almost 1,500 videos. I mean, I've been putting videos out since 2012. And I narrowed down one video that pretty much they took 85% of my talking points, removed God out of it, and built a whole platform, and it inspired millions. Inspired millions. But the, but the thing about it was God wasn't in it. So they never used that. And the intent... <laughs> was from a financial standpoint. So they perverted it. And I strive to stay humble in everything I do. But I watched this one person and I watched and I, and I was like, no, nah, you know, things are kind of coincidental. But there was too many times I would hear certain things that were said. And I was like, wow. And you know, and the, and the one thing that I, for me, I would say, well, you know what? You know, like what's the, what's the saying? Uh, bright minds think alike. And I thought about it. And I was like, no, there ain't no bright mind. That was plagiarism one-on-one. -on -one. And I was like, okay, all right. But I didn't say anything about it. 
Why not turn on guard? Because if it ever came out, well, I'm picking my words. I'll just say this. There's only one you. And that's why when you hear people say, imitation is flattery. Not if you're the original. But even with that, I still found gratitude because indirectly it was just proven to me that when you think no one's looking, they are. They are. So, if you have an insecurity where you think that your voice doesn't mean anything, your placement in this world doesn't mean anything, I'm here to tell you, it does. It does. And I know I'm kind of like tap dancing around a little bit because... Life has a way. And I'll even do one. God has a way where he gets tired. And then all of a sudden, seasons change. And I've seen things occur and I'm like, Wow, that's unfortunate. You know, because I don't have any ill will. But I, but this is just in general. When you, that's why, that's why, when you go through hardships and adversities in your life, and you think that, you know, someone's road is easier than yours. First of all, the Most High said it in the beginning. He's a jealous and loving God. And guess what? Did he not say? Judge and be judged? So, it's no secret and it's not ironic that you see people that come out of the woodwork and they're exalted to high places for a season. And then they fall they, and they fall. You know why they fall? Because it was never supposed to have been there to begin with. They weren't grateful. There was no gratitude of that exaltation. That's why you hear the term, yes people. Yeah. But wasn't it not said, don't build your house on sand? And these same examples play out every day, every year. And you would think folks would say, hey, I'm going to learn from Jimmy so I don't have to learn from it. But we're human beings, and guess what? New day, new name. And some things change. So what am I getting at? If you are in a dark season of your life, acknowledge it. <coughs> and the only way that you're going to be able to fix that is you have to acknowledge what does not work. And then take accountability for the part you played in it, maybe directly or indirectly, because sometimes things occur unbeknownst to you, but it would not have no impact if you did not partake. But trust, believe, trust and believe. 
My mom used to always tell me this. They're going to reap what they sow. And, I, and every day that I wake up, and I, I get to a point I don't even like watching mainstream TV because there's nothing but despair on there. Everybody's saying the same stuff. But yet, these are the same people talk about they want change, but they're not doing anything to change it. Do you not find that kind of coincidental? I think not. <clears throat> That's just like somebody saying, I'm, all, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. And they're right next to a place to have food and what a sign says come in and they do nothing about it. Because society is teaching our young to not invest in themselves, to disrespect themselves, to violate themselves. And guess what? Them same people Unfortunately, they're going to learn too. They're going to learn. But anyway, let me get off that tangent because that's not the reason why um, I'm on here. I just want to let you guys know I'm fine. And not to sound like a broken record. I got things. I got things in place and I'll, I'll just say this though 2024 is going to be totally different and you can't imitate an original God gives us natural gifts and talents from the moment you took your first breath but if you don't take time to cultivate it, it will never grow. But you can't get ahead. I mean, get it. Yes. There's nothing wrong with inspiration. Because I hear, some, I have a feeling somebody's like, well, what if you're inspired? That's one thing. In, being inspired, if anything, it should be enhancing what you already are. But you have folks nowadays, it's like they will go and print up the transcript, change the approach of the delivery, but it's the same stuff. Only for the masses to digest or the ill-informed. I'm here to tell you, 2024, they're gonna be you y'all gonna see a lot of these channels go away. Cause they're they're cracking down <clears throat> they're cracking down on copyright copyright infringement. And you know, YouTube has more or less said, hey, you guys are not suing us for liability. They're going after these people. So 2024 is going to be really, really interesting. Let alone the um, uh, the damages. It's crazy. It's just crazy, you know. But all I'm saying is, be you, do you, be the best you. But you can't do that until you love you. And that's where it starts, loving you first. Placing one foot in front of the other and being grateful in the moment that you're in. Maximizing that. And if you're in an environment that does not give you the validation that you need, be honest with yourself and identify it don't. But also be conscious and cognitive to do what you need. Because at the end of the day, you don't need permission to be you. And just know, 
The people that are intended to be in your life will reciprocate that. And the ones that don't, guess what? They'll be on the side of the road as you go past. Not everybody is supposed to know your story. Some will be lucky to know your name. While there'll be a select few that'll actually get to hear you breathe. Why? Because they meant to walk with you. God's praying for you. You know I am. I see your worth. And for that, for that, for that, it helps me discern mine. I don't know about y'all. I'm looking at 2024 already. Are you? Love to hear from you. Have a blessed week. Peace.